Okay, um, some ladies don't like to be whistled when they are walking in the streets and that's not really um, respectful. It's better to say, eres una coqueta o eres un coqueto. That is the expression, you're a flirt. Eres un coqueto, eres una coqueta. Don't, don't, don't make me the face. Muy bien, de la expresión de hoy para hoy, chicos. Vamos con jueves, diciembre 10 del 2020, español número que uno. Okay, guys, today we're going to introduce something that is called PBL, Project Based Learning. Project Based Learning, and then we have students who are the boy star. We're going to be describing actions, people, emotions, conditions with the very star. We got here Project Based Learning, guys. Uh, today, as I said before, we're going to be working on this theory. That's a learning theory that is called constructivism. I'm going to go into uh, very, very depth about the theories of learning in the United States and the world. I know all of them, uh, all of those, but I'm not going to go that. Uh, it's only for you guys. Constructivism by John Dewey states that learners learn better by doing. You learn better by doing by yourself. Sometimes you need instructions, uh, sometimes you need an instructor, a professor, a teacher, but it's much better. They said that it's more effective, the learning, when the students do it by themselves. So here we got some projects today to do. Uh, the first project that uh, came to my mind is make a tennis slide presentation with places and sentences. Ten sentences and ten places. You're going to open a uh, slide presentation. You can use like cutter. We can cut it, use a slides to go. And just one slide, one person, and then the place and the sentence. She is uh, at the hospital. She is in the school. And that's it. Ten slides, ten things. Well, we can go to the emoji, emoji project. What about make a canvas slides describing the condition of the emotion, maybe the emoji, you know, emotions, and then you do the same thing. With tennis slides, you just get an emoji and you tell me the state or the emotion, the emotion that is been described with that, and write a sentence. You have to write a sentence with that. I want you to use the sentence. And the last one, the last one is memes. Describe 10 emotional states with me. You're going to get a meme and you're going to explain how they feel. Basically, that is the thing. We're going to be using Bear Star. You are going to pick only one of this. You got option, options, options. Option one, two, three, A, B, C. Only one project, only one option. But Mr. Martinez, uh, can I do only three? No, just do one. I want quality, no quantity. And the other point is that uh, this is not really um, compulsory, obligatory. If you want to give me another project by using a star, you say, Mr. Martinez, I have an idea in my mind. I would like to develop in my class, in Spanish class with you. What do you think? So let me know your idea, brainstorm, and give me your idea. Share your idea with me, and then I will give you, oh, yeah, that would be an amazing idea. But the most important thing here is to know how to use the very star. I mean, emotion, I mean, position, location, uh, action, emotion, and condition, uh, condition, emotion. All right, guys, so we're going to be working a video about place, which is the acronym about the use of a star. So you can use that. Okay, the students, that is the word for today. I hope you can learn a, a lot of a lot of things today. Uh, we can share a lot of knowledge with, with, the, with the rest of the class. Thank you for your excellent participation. See you Friday. Hola chicos, ¿cómo están el día de hoy? Hoy es día jueves, eh, hoy es día jueves 10 de diciembre del año 2020. Well, that is something that girls don't like people, or especially boys, do to them, right? So it's better to say, eres una coqueta, o eres un coqueto, you're flirt, you're flirt. Okay, that is the expression for today, eres una coqueta, don't look at me that way. Don't make me, don't blink your eyes. Don't make me that face. You are, you are a flirt. It is una coqueta. It is un coqueto. Maybe you got a girlfriend, a boyfriend, and then he or she is looking at somebody else. Hey, it is un coqueto. It is una coqueta. What, what are you looking for? I mean, you got here what you need. Anything. All right, guys. Um, what are you going to give a present? I mean, just start thinking about giving a Christmas present. But when you marry him or her, or you, when you go out with him or her, you already got everything. So, I mean, what can you do? What can you get for that person? We're going to go now with the class for today, guys. It says Jueves, Diciembre 10 del 2020, Español 2 Bloque 2. Okay, guys, so they're going to be working on PBL. What is PBL? Project-Based Learning. 
pueden usar los verbos y expresiones del pasado. We're going to be talking about past tense, guys. Everything about the past, 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 past. La frase del día, eres un coqueto, eres una coqueta. Project Best Learning, guys. In order to introduce this topic, I'm going to go a little bit back into the uh, some theories of learning that I use, what I learn, that I teach, that I, I mean, present conferences and uh, workshops when I have a little group of people, teachers, students, teachers, universities, colleges, and everything. So um, I had to read a lot. In order to be here, guys, I need to read a lot about this. Okay, project-based learning, constructivism by John Dewey. He has been uh, one of the best, um, I mean, known um, psychologist, educator in the United States for University of California in LA. And then he states that learners learn better by doing. So you learn better by doing things, not by being instructed by any teacher or any professor. So they say, if you do the things by yourself, you're going to learn them how to do things. So that is much better. Anyway, um, for example, how do you uh, speak Spanish? Speak Spanish is not like, you know, a recipe. You got the recipe and then somebody can describe how she or he feels speaking in Spanish. No, it's like cooking. It's like eating, like tasting the plate, tasting the dish. It's different. If you don't taste it, if you don't smell it, if you don't say it, if you don't just get it into your brain, into your digestive system, how can you just say it's good or it's bad? All right, that is important. Okay, we're going to be doing some projects today, guys. The first one, um, we got some options to make the projects. We got a one, two, three, four options to 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 to, uh, to produce a project. But anyway, guys, I'm going to give you my options. But if you have one option that you want to add, and you want to say, Mr. Martinez, I'm planning to do this with past tense. Please welcome. Just share with me. I mean, do not feel like. You are, I mean, imposed to do things. No. I just give you some ideas. My class is so democratic. I am the most advanced student in this class. I know your teacher. So I think that making some projects or doing or creating some projects can enhance and empower your learning. So we got here, choose a historical turning point, I mean, event in, in history, and write a summary, past tense. You're going to give me, for example, Discovery America, uh, how English people came here and conquered or established here in the United States. Just give me a turning point, maybe Pearl Harbor, that was yesterday, the before yesterday celebration, or, I mean, Observance Day. Uh, tell me something. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, the bomb, nuclear bomb. Tell me something, something that happened in the United States or in the world. That could be one. I need you to give me a summary about that. It's not translation. I, I don't want to see that. I want you to use the tenses and, the, and the everything. I want to see mistakes in that, in that document. Also, you can write a 10 line, 20 lines, sorry, text describing your past life, past event, something you did in the beginning, uh, before, when you were a kid, when you were a teenager, when you were younger. Tell me, I mean, uh, yo monté bicicleta, I rode or horses, bicycles, something like that, all right? Your past life. Write an autobiography or biography of the most influential person in your life. That's past. Maybe he or she's dead, or maybe he's still alive or she's still alive. What about writing about your mom, your dad in the past? I mean, you can ask them how they behave, what they did in the past tense. I mean, I mean, long time ago. I mean, well, what school they attended. Um, well, a lot of questions that you can talk to ask them. Right. On um, the last one, it could be describe the most memorable trip, camp, adventure in 20 lines. Everything is about past tense, and I want you to use the ER, IR, and ER verbs, right? So basically, that's the project. This is going to be due on Monday, December the 14th at 11.59. I'm going to give you uh, tomorrow, Friday, some time to start thinking about the project. I mean, what about doing some cluster map, or maybe brainstorming, maybe listing some ideas about what you're going to what you really want to, to talk about in these projects. So, I mean, as I said before, guys, this is not like um, those, I mean, shirts that people wear when they are taken to the mental insanity hospitals or rehabilitation centers. No, it's not like that, Mr. Martin. Like, if you have any other idea that you can give me and you can share with us about how to do this, that would be amazing. Just, I want you to do your own things by, you, by yourself. Okay, guys, so that's the work for today, and then we, go be, we, we continue working on Savas, and I get a, a puzzle to, 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 to present to you guys so you can practice more about past tenses. Don't forget, just try to memorize the endings. Have a wonderful day. Nos vemos mañana.
it's not really elegant to say that. It's not really appropriate. Only people with lower academic level, social level, cultural level do that. If you want to say a compliment to a girl, you can say it in many different ways. One of those is, eres una coqueta, o eres un coqueto. You are a flirt. You are a flirt. Eres un coqueto. Eres una coqueta. I mean, you're shining all the time and showing your teeth and your eyes, and you blink your eye. Uh, it is because you are a coqueto, o eres una coqueta. Or maybe you wear those shades or sunglasses, and you just try to make some you know, leaning or maybe movements or facial gestures is because you are coqueta. How do you, how do you flirt? How do you flirt when you like somebody? Okay, chicos, eres una coqueta, eres un coqueto. That is the expression for today, dear students. Bueno, hoy estamos a jueves, estudiantes, and today we're going to begin our PBL, this project-based learning. And the project is for today, pueden usar los comandos y vocabulario de salud, the two topics that we have been covering so in these two weeks. Um, eres un coqueto, eres una coqueta, boy or girl, and then project-based learning, guys. I'm not going to go into uh, the social learning, the constructivism, the cognitive theories about how to learn, how to teach, because that is especially for my teachers' teachers, okay, the students' teachers. But now, but anyway, it's important that you know something really basic about this, project-based learning. Uh, this is a theory that is based on constructivism. And what is constructivism? Constructivism by John Dewey. John Dewey is, uh, has been or was one of those famous, I mean, educators in the United States. And he wrote a lot of books about how to teach in the United States, how to teach kids in the United States. So he says that constructivism um, states that learners learn better by doing. When you do the things by yourself, you learn much, much better than when somebody instructs you to do things. So that's why I decided to use this study, this um, um, theory, learning theory, approach, methodology with these projects. You're going to make project number one, which is make a nutrition fact of your recipe, the one that you did in Savas, or you can use the product, create a product, or you can use, um, as I said before, yourself. Your product, and you're going to sell your product um, as, as yourself, right? So then we go Proyecto Número Dos, Project Number Two, Design a Manual de Instrucciones, a Manual of Instructions, Manual of Instructions. Using two commands, it could be negative, it could be positive. Um, yesterday, before leaving a class, um, there was a wonderful idea about re reverse, reverse psychology. I mean, the idea was how to prevent contracting the COVID. No, we're going to do something different. That was an amazing idea, and uh, one student in this class is going to do that. How to spread, how to spread the COVID. And then maybe reverse psychology, the person knows how, what not to do, what they are not supposed to do. That's very interesting. Give me great ideas, guys. Give me ideas about how to make um, a manual of instructions. If you like playing soccer, playing video games, you bought a new computer, I mean, you have a new program, your computer, um, you want to show me how to drive a car, how to ride bicycles, how to make up, I mean, 10, 10 commands make a beautiful poster you can use, Canva, slides to go Google Apps add-ons, or any, any program. So that's going to be due on Monday, that's all I'm going to write down here, do Monday, I'm going to write it down right here, let me go with this, um, do, do, Es para entregar do Monday. Monday, uh, that is going to be December the what? Before 11, 15 and what? 14, okay, 14. Okay, that's the thing, p.m. December uh, 14 p.m. All right. Okay, chicos, let's start working today. We're going to be working on Savas. Um, we're going to have a Ed Puzzle also. And something, or quizzes, I'm going to make a decision so as soon as I finish the video. And that's it. Right, God, Proyecto 1, Proyecto 2, y vamos con la clase. Chao.